We all know that crypto mining is negatively impacting many things in the world, but lately it's been doing so in a way that no one has seen coming. Today we talk about why mining cryptocurrencies is literally ruining every free CICD platform. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Dave, where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub Energy DevOps. Today I have to talk about something I really prefer not to, but it's happening and it's happening hard. So let's address the reasons why crypto mining is literally ruining every single free CICD platform. We all know crypto mining, the process in which transactions for various form of cryptocurrencies are verified and added to the blockchain digital ledger using the computing power of computers or graphics card and for which miners are rewarded with cryptocurrencies directly. And we also probably all know that this is impacting many aspects of our current times and lives. For example, the current generations and the previous generations of graphics cards are so powerful for mining that it's basically impossible to buy a graphics card right now, or if you find one, the price is crazy. And this is because all the supply is basically taken up by miners and very few lucky gamers. Okay, but how does this affect CICD platforms? I'm glad you asked. You see, due to the lack of availability of graphics cards and the constantly increasing number of miners thanks to the raising value of cryptocurrencies, miners have started finding alternative ways for mining. They first started using cloud services, but they quickly realized that the cost for always running large instances was higher than the gain they were able to get. And this is when they started looking into the free CI providers. Hosted build agents are in fact fairly powerful, having to take care of compilations and many other things. And most platforms have a free tier, especially for public repos. So powerful machines basically for free. A miner's dreams come through. And this is exactly the problem because they have started writing scripts, pushing them to public repositories and take advantage of those free CI agents to run their mining software. And as the different providers started identifying and blocking those attempts, miners have adopted starting writing more complex software and scripts in order to mask what they were actually using those repos and CI hosted agents for. There are countless examples of it, but here's one for you. There was one user on GitHub that seemed to have a legit Flask repository. And in this repository, there was definition for five different free CIs, including GitHub Actions, Travis CI, Circle CI, and others. And this user was having roughly one commit per hour, and each commit, as you can imagine, was kicking off all those five CIs. Unfortunately, though, even though at the first look, this repository looked legit, it was actually kicking off some script that was a mining software, basically. So you can just imagine how much resources just this one user consumed. And in fact, if you've noticed recently that your hosted agent became slower or they started picking up new jobs with a greater delay, it's most likely because of these reasons. And in fact, this doesn't apply only on free hosted agents, but also on paid agents because in the end, the resources and the platforms are the same. But if this was only a problem of slowness, we wouldn't be talking about this. The problem is in fact much bigger. So much so that most of the providers have completely removed their free tier, or at least they've implemented some great limitations. Microsoft is not providing any more free concurrent CI for their Azure pipelines for new organizations. If the users want them, they need to request for them and provide additional information to verify they are eligible. And Travis CI is taking this even a step further, completely removing the free tier and giving to existing users a trial with an amount of free credits. When the credits are exhausted, if a user wants to keep using CI, then they will have to buy a paid plan. GitLab, on the other hand, takes a different approach. First, they require new users to verify their account, adding a credit card to their account, before they can start using the hosted agents. Existing users are not currently required to insert a credit card number, but they may be in the future. Second, they are removing the unlimited free minutes that were previously assigned to public projects and setting a limit to 400 free minutes instead. CircleCI has never had a completely free plan, but only a plan with 2,500 credits assigned to their users every month. And while they haven't changed that, at least not yet, 
They've published an article saying that they have a whole team, and I quote, of security experts, operations engineers, data scientists, and developers whose ongoing work comprises spotting and eradicating abuse of our platform. These, of course, are huge costs for the company, and if things will remain like they are, they may need to make the money back somehow, and you make of this what you want. Final example, GitHub Actions. GitHub is the only provider I'm aware of which still has their free unlimited use of CI agents. However, they did mention in a post on their public blog that the Actions team have spent thousands of hours fighting against miners. As in the Circus CI case, this comes, of course, at a cost. Having engineering teams focusing on fighting miners most likely means they have less time to focus on improving and developing the service. And they're also saying that they are rolling out features and improvements to help maintainers of open source projects having a better control of their CI when it comes to pull requests and forks. And I could continue for long, because we are seeing these kind of things from every and each CI provider. And the question is, can we do anything to stop this? But unfortunately, I'm afraid we can't. Providers can do their best to enforce policies and provide limitations and so on and so forth, but as long as it is profitable and especially untraceable for miners to do so, they will continue. And they will become more sophisticated and keep circumventing measures. In my opinion, the only hope we have is for crypto networks to disable completely the computational based proof of work to reward new coins to miners to a fully uh, proof of stake validation model. I know it sounds at least improbable, but in fact, it's already happening. And Ethereum, for example, already announced that they will switch just to that entirely. But let me know in the comment section below what you think about this very sensitive topic. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Core Dave.